Am I the arsehole? A for either letting my mom be homeless, or offering her a plane ticket to our home country? I am originally from a North African country, but currently live in the UK. When I was five, my dad divorced my mom and vanished. Two years later, she met a guy online, married him and moved to France. She lied to him, said she was never married and had no kids, so I was forced to pretend that she was not my mother when they visited every other year. I was left with my grandma, and she did her best to raise me, but she was pretty old by then, so I ended up being the caretaker when I got a bit older. Nevertheless, I knew my best bet was to study hard, so I did so. I went to a top engineering school, then started working for a multinational, then I was promoted AMD moved to the French branch. By then my grandma has passed away, my mom already had pretty much no contact with me, and her kids thought me as the orphan that their grandma used to raise, so I didn't even tell her that I moved to France. Two years ago, I moved to a new company in the UK, and I make a pretty good living, and with no one to support, I am pretty financially secure. Then my mom reached out to me. Apparently her husband divorced her, her kids can't help her I don't know why, she mentioned some financial reasons, so she got my number from a cousin I'm in contact with, and wants me to move her in with me. I told her that will not be happening, the only help I will be offering was a plane ticket back to our home country, and she can then do whatever she wants, but as far as I'm concerned, I don't owe her anything. Most of my family are on her side mainly because of religious and cultural reasons, but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't letting resentment cloud my judgment. Not the asshole. Most of my family are on her side. Great, so they'll be happy to help her. Not the asshole, and you don't owe her the plane ticket either. If she didn't acknowledge you as her child in the past, then no need to treat her as your mother now. Not the asshole whatsoever. She neglected you and refused to even acknowledge you were here kid. Now she's come crawling back to use you. Stand your ground. Not the asshole ask her if she remembers when she told everyone you aren't her daughter? Ask her how can you owe your mother anything when you don't have one? People use religious and cultural excuses as reason to make people do things they shouldn't have to do or owe no duty to do. All these cultures and religions where you need to take care of your elders, even if your elders literally abandoned you and lied about your existence, need to just cut it out. Your mother can sort out her own living situation. Tell her the culture you follow now is you reap what you sow. I'd be curious to know, where was your family when she left you to your own devices and as your elderly nana's carer? Was that also okay? Not the asshole. Not the asshole I love the option you gave about her moving back home she's a terrible and selfish mother honestly I hope she regrets her actions. Not the asshole. She doesn't even deserve the plane tickets. The only answer should be I have no mother. Don't you remember? I am the orphan girl grandma rose out of the goodness of her heart. Ask your children, who have no sister, to help you. Or get a job. Not the asshole. You don't owe her anything. She abandoned you for her new husband and had another family. Get her a plane ticket. That's more than she deserves. Block your mother once you know she gets on the plane. If you have to, change your phone number only give it to family you trust. Tell family members if they give it to anyone, you will change your again and they won't have it. Hugs and good luck. You mother just reached out because they want something and sorry to say it's not you but your money. I hope you find your answers. Not the asshole. You don't even owe her plane ticket but I get that's probably culturally hard to do. You're a good person op, and I'm glad things worked out for you. Not the asshole, she dumped you like you were garbage and then for years pretended you weren't her child. You don't owe her the time of day let alone anything else. If other family members are on her side let them help her. Not the asshole, it's your decision. You're grown woman and are able to decide who you want in your life, or in this instance who you don't want in your home. It's nice enough of you to offer to buy her a plane ticket back, 
if it's not what she wants, she always can move in with her real kids, she doesn't need to be homeless. If she finds work she also can support the child she's living with financially, so I see no problem there. She's most probably hoping to live rent free at your place and also not needing to work. Just don't let her. Hope for you your family gives it up fast. Not the asshole. The hypocrisy here is through the roof. It's cultural and religious to take care of your elders, but it isn't to abandon your child and pretend they never existed. What? OP you don't owe her anything. If I were you I would have gone North Carolina a long time ago. Stand tall and live your life. Don't give in to the pressure. Let her eat what she sowed. Not the asshole. Unless the family were just as outraged by her disappearing act and her lies then they can be ignored. She abandoned you, and has only come back now because she wants something from you. Ask yourself, would she help you in this way if the roles were reversed? She's not your mother, she didn't raise you, she's a stranger looking for money. I got to the end of the comments and realized Op's mother never said why she can't work and just support herself. Hum? I'm sorry, your ma denied you and you pretended when you visited not to be her son? That's wrong on so many levels I can't even begin to explain. No one should ever deny their children and I feel so sorry for you that you had to pretend. Personally I wouldn't have done it. You have done well for yourself and now she tracked you down and wants to know you because her children can't help her. She is a disgrace. She is clearly using you. You don't owe her anything, not even the plane ticket. Let her sort herself out. Not the asshole. Not the asshole she is no mother to you. I would have been meaner. Yeah sure. Then when she actually tries to be around. I don't have mom. Clearest not the asshole ever. Not the asshole. It's kind enough of you to offer a ticket already. Best of luck in life. Natasha abandoned you. You don't owe her anything. Not the asshole why would you move in with her? That would be stupid. Out of curiosity, have you contacted her ex and your half-siblings yet? You need to throw the shame back on her supporters for backing her lies for years. Children don't owe their parents even when they were actually raised by them. Your mother is a selfish user. Do not give in. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. The fact that you offered a plane ticket just shows how kind you are despite the toxic relationship you obviously had. Edit it's so hard to veer away from cultural expectations. So good for you. If you feel you can live without them, find other people to rely on. She didn't even know your phone number. You might be letting resentment affect your judgment, but that doesn't mean it's clouded. You don't owe your deadbeat mom. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If her family is on her side, why don't they support her? Not the asshole. Congratulations on beating the odds through your own hard work. Yet another case where the concerned family members can either put up or shut up. Phone rings hello? It's your mother you who? I don't have a mother. Click.